Um, St. Elizabeth's Hospital, when they uh, first started this project, they were looking to develop a new hospital. The uh, original hospital was uh, built in the 1800s. It was uh, very old, uh, outdated. Uh, the level of care was not there for the patients. Uh, and I'm not even sure if the public had a good feeling about the hospital and the security that they provided to the patients or to the public areas surrounding the hospital. Uh, so what they wanted to do was uh, develop a, a new building that was welcoming um, because of the type of uh, patients they would serve, psychiatric patients, um, but was also very secure. Uh, so PSC was uh, brought in by the architects, EYP, uh, and involved in providing the security design for the building. Um, what kind of uh, technologies did you center on, you know, to start? Uh, what we wanted to do was separate uh, the public side of the hospital from the secure side of the hospital. Okay. Um, so on the secure side of the hospital, we had 100% CCTV coverage of the perimeter and interior of the building. Uh, we provided a, uh, a climb-resistant fence, uh, an arch fence, uh, uh, patented by First Defense, um, with a, a fence shaker system, a fiber optic shaker system on it. And then to the interior of that, we provided a taut wire system. Uh, just as a primary means of detection. So we had two layers of detection. Okay. If someone got outside, they would hit the taut wire, they get an alarm, and then if someone would actually get to the, the fence, they would get another alarm, ensuring that something was actually happening so they could dispatch. Well, talk <laughs> about the role of, of your firm, you okay. know, where, where you came into the process, how much you were involved in the planning and the, uh, okay. the execution of the, of the system. Uh, we worked one-on-one -on -one with the architect, uh, the construction manager, and the client as well. The uh, client was very involved in the process. They wanted to make sure that what we were providing them was uh, of the high security. Um, and they were very concerned uh, about how the surrounding community would feel about the hospital. Um, and they wanted to show the community that, you know, they're going to be safe. Um, but they also wanted to provide something where the patients, uh, as I said earlier, would feel at home. Um, so what we tried to do was uh, integrate as much security as possible so it wasn't uh, always there in your face that you could walk up to the hospital and not notice that anything was uh, high security about it. There's a lot of zones of security mm -hmm. and it, it was really a, a structured regimen it seemed like. Did, did PSC come up with that or was that a group effort to come up with the zone? Uh, that's, that's mostly typical of PSC designs uh, where we try and zone it either from the inside or from the outside in depending on the type of facility we're working in. Um, with the hospital we're trying to protect the outside community, we don't want anyone getting out, so uh, we start with the inside. You know, CCTV, access control, uh, with central control monitoring everything. And then you work to the uh, door monitoring, and of course out to your fence line, your security lighting, perimeters, and just keep going. Okay. And this has been a long project. Uh, like, how yes. long has the project been going? Uh, I believe it started in 2004, um, and it was actually, I think, put on hold for possibly a, a year or two. And then it went back out uh, for bid, and finally uh, construction started on it. Uh, it was finally completed last year. And you know. is it totally complete, or is there a future expansion in the um, works? It's, it's totally completed uh, as far as all the housing units. Um, they did leave room for expansion if they wanted to add more housing units. Uh, currently, there's a new recreation yard being put in place, a uh, high security recreation yard with a big wall, fence detection, CCTV. Uh, that's currently under construction right now.